Bird. Time for another Katie Science Lab experiment. This week we're doing the walking water activity, which I did a double take on. It was on, I thought it said walking on water, uh, but this is going to teach <laughs> us kind. about not this kind, but it's going to teach us about color mixing. David and Katie are here. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. The, wa the walking on water will come in like a few months. We'll graduate to that. Okay, okay. we're working our way Maybe. up to that. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you, you good? I'm getting trying. set, getting set, assistance getting set. Yes, I. this is really fun. Tested this out last night at home, did it again this morning. It does take a little bit of time, so it's not instantaneous, but that's good because uh, Steph always talks about this. It's good to, you know, have the kiddos, you know, it's not instant gratification with a lot of this stuff. So you have to focus for a little longer. Yeah, yes. a little longer. Mm -hmm. and, and, but you really don't need that much stuff, though. That's the good thing about this activity. You'll need some water. You'll need uh, paper towels, clear cups, or glasses so that you can see what's going on in there, and also some food coloring. So we're going to get things set up right now. David, what we're going to do, I've already done a little bit of this. You're going to take three of your primary colors in the food coloring. And I wasn't able to find the primary color food coloring if they were these like pastel colors. And so when you put them in, they're not like, this was the red, but it kind of looks more pinkish. So that's what we're working with today. But you're gonna take your red, blue, and yellow food coloring, put several drops in a cup and, and fill the cup all the way up. David, what did you say to me when I was, was, I was getting these ready? They're awful full. Yeah, awful full. That could be bad. A little spillage for possible. Some. For you. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> but you do want them full, and I will explain why. So we've got this those. Is not, I can take my gloves off. This is not dangerous water. Right. It's not acid or anything. It's just pure water. Okay? Just don't drink them, David. Just uh -huh. pure water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, so we've got our three cups filled, three more empty cups, okay. so six cups in total, and you're going to arrange them. So we'll go color, empty, color, empty, color, like that. Yes, good job, David. Good job, good job. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take paper towels. What I did is I took one, one piece off like this, and then I folded it in half, and then in half again, and tore that in half so that we can make pieces that are kind of the right size to. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, Dip like that, that. In there and that or that a in good there. size, yeah, to kind of set in the water like this. You may have to kind of position them, but you'll oh, see right fast. away, yeah. right away, the water starts to walk or move up the paper towel and into the other cup. So you're going to need six pieces of paper towel because David, we're going to put one, we're going to put one from each cup to the other. This isn't a slow motion thing, Katie. I mean, it's fast. It's it does so that's why filling the cups up all the way with water helps because you'll start to see you'll start to see the movement. You'll start to see the movement right away, and that and that's kind of cool. I think the kids will be like, "Ooh, cool, awesome!" And so you'll see the color starts oh, let's to see drop. Again. Huh? What what did the kids say again? Ooh, ah. Uh. Okay. Speaking from someone who just has a cat, so. Um, I hope they'll say ooh and ah. <laughs> they will. <laughs> so, okay, so you'll notice we've got our different colors. They're going to start to mix. The water is going to drop into our clear cup. And if you give this an hour, maybe even two hours, then you'll start to see your results. All right, David, bring it in. Look at him assisting. Ooh. All right, so this is the one I did at about 7 o'clock this morning. And we've got some good mixing here on the tray. So we had our, our red or our pink mixed with the yellow, and it kind of made this orange right here. I love these neon colors. So this is kind of like a more neon color spectrum. If you were going to use the traditional primary colors, it may look a little different, but you still get the idea. The yellow, um, the yellow and the blue made green here on the end. I love this, so much fun. So that's what you'll get after a couple of hours. It's kind of a good lesson in patience. Um, in a good way to teach the young, especially the younger kids about color mixing. What primary colors, when you mix them together, uh, give you a different kind of secondary color. So this is this is fun. I just love the colors. That is very cool. It looks pretty. And it, it brings up the importance of getting the clear, either plastic or glass, but, you know, just yes. so we can actually see them. See the results, yeah. yeah. Look how much the water level has gone down already. That's Quite true. Quite a bit, This yeah. was cool. It's the best of both worlds, Katie, because I think you get some instant gratification from seeing yes. the results, and then yes. over the long term, you see the end result. Yes. Yeah, so pretty the cool. Colors, yes. And super simple. Yeah, it's simple. You don't need a whole lot. You probably got this at home. Um, and if you try this at home with your kiddos, please send us photos and video. We'd love to show it off uh, on another GMSA at Nine segment. And uh, we've got all of our previous Katie Science Labs online. Fun, Thanks, fun. David. Good job. Thank you, guys. Good job. Yeah, yeah we want to try this one. That's we didn't make a mess either. 
No, you didn't you make go. a mess. That's what next week is for. <laughs> exactly. And you didn't eat anything. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs>